Hi guys, this is Corey with SellerCore.com, the free auction template editor. Today I want to do a quick walkthrough on how to take one of the free templates you find on SellerCore.com and basically add your own images and description to it and how to make it yours and this will only take a few minutes. It's very easy to do so let's get started. So first thing I want to do is I'm selling a multi-tool so I went to Google, did a quick Google search for my model and I came up with this. This is actually the Sears website but it has all the information I need. So basically I was just looking for a quick description of it what how they how they describe it and an image so I could take obviously take an image myself and upload it but this image will work perfect for what I'm doing is you know I'm just selling mine for a couple bucks online just to get rid of it so if I scroll over this you'll see that there's a click zoom that's JavaScript that's gonna zoom if I click in a box I actually just want the image so I'm gonna go somewhere over the image with my mouse and I'm gonna right click and you'll see a few options here there's save image as copy image URL and there's copy image I'm using Chrome so these are my options you're maybe slightly different I could use any of these to get them into the editor but I actually want to save it to my computer and then re-upload it for this example so I'm gonna click save image as and just make sure I know what folder that is I don't really need to change the file name and hit save there you go you can see that it told me that it's downloaded it so I'm just gonna close that out all right, now I'm gonna jump back to this in a second. For now, I'm gonna go to sellercore.com. So I went to sellercore.com and searched the templates and under products and tools, I actually found a few a few tool templates and when I scrolled down, I found found this tool bucket one. Since it's a multi-tool, I thought the tool bucket worked perfect. So I could preview this, but I know I wanna edit it, so I'm just gonna hit the edit template button. Now what this does is it loads the sellercore editor for me and it'll load that template right into it. I don't need to copy the HTML or anything. It just sets it up ready to use. And since I'm also a free registered user of SellerCore, I'm able to upload images and stuff and it loads it right into my account. So you see here is that template and now everything is editable. I can change, type, anything I want. So I'm going to start with the description. So I'm going to go back to my page here and my description text. Now this is perfect. It's everything that there is to say about it. So I'm just going to copy this, highlight it with my mouse, hit right click, hit copy. And I'm going to go back over to my editor. Now, of course, I could type that out myself, but, you know, to get it done, this is just way faster. So, highlight that, right-click again, and I'm going to paste. So, what that does, since I, I highlighted it off the screen, it actually copied all the HTML that went with it. If I, I could have the option of just pasting it, just pasting it as plain text, but I actually like the layout of that, so I'm just going to leave that. So, next, I'm going to go to my description. I'm going to click on this. Now when I click on this, you're going to see two things. You're going to see two boxes light up. You see this one right here. This is the span that the text is actually in. And then you also notice that this is as well. This is the div. So there's two things happening here. And I just want to go over this real quick. The span is actually designing my text itself. But this outer div, this outer div is telling the span to be on the left hand side. You'll, you'll see that if I click here. It says left right here, text align. If I want to move this around, I have to change the outer div because I can't center it in the span. It's, there's nowhere for it to go. So I'll do that one second. I just wanted to touch on that. So I'm going to go back over to the, my website here and just take, just take their title for it. I like their title. And the reason I touched on that, that paste this plain text part, if I highlight this and just paste I'm going to get their HTML from their site, and it looks okay, but that's not really what I was going for. So, oh, went too far back. There we go. So, I'm just going to highlight this again. Now, I had this option, and you can do this anywhere in the site up here. There's a few pastes. There's regular paste. There's paste from Word. If I were to design this in like a Word Perfect, that would basically transform it so it works with HTML. But I also have paste as plain text. So, if I open this up, and I right click in this box and I paste there's that HTML like you can't see the white on white but it's there but what this does is it strips all the HTML back out of that paste and just leaves me with plain text as beat basic default text so when I paste that in now I have my design that I want so touching this again I could double click in here edit CS style go to my spacing make this left to right put it on the right side, put it in the center. And also, you've seen this in other videos, I've talked about line height. When things are spaced out, you use line height to center them. So if I were to change this to like 60, it's gonna make it go up. If I were to change this to 160, it's gonna drop it down. But in this example, I think I wanna leave it above the toolbox, so I'm gonna put it 50, that looks pretty good. 
so I'm gonna click in there so that moved my span around so when you click see I click on this that span is still around that text but it moved it because I moved it inside the div not inside the span it's outer box here and all, I, all you got to do is just click in the box click out the box and that's how you control the difference so I want to change my text a little bit so now I'm gonna double click in here edit CS style go to other it has a black shadow on it I'm gonna change it to a color just so it pops a little bit more in that picture I'm gonna make it a red since there's a red in the multi tool and there we go that looks much much better so just keep with that same theme I'm gonna jump down here real quick and my terms of sale and my shipping information obviously I could type this out to whatever my terms of sale are but I'm not gonna do that in this example but I am gonna change the header of it so I'm gonna double click in there edit CSS style just do something real simple put a turn a border on I'm gonna get rid of the underline since there's a border none and I'm gonna put a little bit of spacing in there because it's right on top of itself so if I do like five padding of five spaced it out a little bit so we'll go with that yeah that looks great it definitely changes it a lot but it's not not overbearing and to change it for my shipping I could go in and do the same thing or I could just double click on it save the CSS style click in here and go up to my save CSS style there it is done for me all right last but not least is the image I want to use so I could click anywhere in here I want to put this image put it there put it up here anywhere I want I think I'm gonna put it above my text there so it's already centered the template came centered for me if not I would just hit the center up here and I'm going to my images I could have pasted that URL right here and that would have worked fine but I actually wanted to upload it if it was already uploaded I'd go to my folder here but since it's a new upload I'm gonna click the plus and there it is I know it's on my computer so I'm gonna choose a file here it is hit open loads it for me I'm just gonna change the name to multi-tool so later on down the road I know if I can delete it if I'm done with it or not and there we go I'm gonna upload it and I'm gonna paste it in there and that's it and this example I'm actually gonna size it down a little bit it might distort it a tiny bit but you know it's still got the idea what the tool looks like so that's it guys and like I said this would have been changed I'm not gonna do that in this example so from here I have a few options I could go to HTML and I could highlight this and copy it there it is split screen what this HTML is it's syntax highlighted with colors and spacing basically to space things out so if I'm an advanced user I can go in here and dive on it a little faster know what I'm looking at what I actually want to do is I'm gonna hit this get HTML button down here what that does is it loads all the same code but it's just in a raw text format that way when I copy and paste into different boxes I know that I'm not copying these colors and spacing this stuff and it's just a just a text just a straight HTML so highlight that copy and now I'm gonna go over to eBay and oh there it is that's my other example so we'll start from scratch real quick all right so this is an eBay listing page it's just you know quick multi pull so you'll see here is that they have a basic WYSIWYG editor and of course I can bold and do basic stuff here definitely can't do what you do in seller core but it gets a lot done for you but when you paste your HTML you want to make sure you're on HTML tab otherwise you're just gonna paste text and it's not not what you want you want to paste code so click the HTML right click paste our HTML there it is looks great go back to the standard tab there's our template again and our images our text everything we just designed and if I were to click preview eBay takes a second to load this and then spread that out there's our eBay preview with our created a free eBay template alright guys it's been just a few minutes and we created a template this has been Corey with sellercore.com your free auction template editor please leave any questions or comments below